Welcome to Dayless Class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Welcome back. It's the second week and we are focusing on nature and animals. Today, we will be making compost. Compost is an organic material that can be added to soil to help plants grow. Food scraps and yard waste together currently make up more than 28% of what we throw away. Meanwhile, we could be using it for compost. Composting only requires three basic ingredients. Browns, which includes materials like dead leaves, branches, and twigs. Greens, which includes materials like grass clippings, vegetable waste, food scraps, and coffee grounds. And water. Having the right amount of water, greens, and browns is important for compost development. Today, you will be making your own batch of compost. To make your compost, you will need one 2-liter bottle, a pair of scissors, one yogurt container, one cup, soil, shredded newspaper, food scraps, water, and one to two sticks to stir your compost. You will begin by cutting your 2-liter bottle in half. If you need help, please ask an adult to help you. This will be the container where you will be putting your compost. When you are done cutting in half, place the cap back on, and then place the neck of the bottle into the bottom part of the bottle that you have just cut out. Up next, you will need your yogurt container and your scissors. Using your scissors, you will cut out your yogurt container into little squares. Once again, if you need help, please ask a parent or an adult to help you. Cut out your whole yogurt container and then put your squares on the side once you are done. Bring back your 2 liter bottle. This is where the fun begins. Add newspaper. Not too much though or else it will take up too much space in your container. Up next, you will be adding your browns and greens. This is where you will add your grass, your leaves, and your twigs. Up next, you will need to add your soil. Make sure not to overfill your container with soil. Leave some room for your scraps and also so you can stir around everything in there. For my scraps, I added a banana peel, an eggshell, and a diced apple. But please, don't think you have to waste the whole apple in dicing it for this project. It will be enough to add an apple core. Once I was done adding my scraps, I added a little bit more of soil just to make sure that it would have enough. Give your compost a quick little stir and then moisten it a little bit. I use a spray bottle to avoid getting it too wet, but just to get it wet enough. So you might be wondering, what do I do with the pieces of plastic I cut out? Well, you're going to add them into your bottle, of course. Wait a second, plastic doesn't go into compost? You're right, it doesn't. If you follow all the steps up until before you added the plastic, you would be good for making a good compost. However, once you add the plastic, you have now created a landfill model. Have you ever thought about where your trash goes to? Well, it ends up in places like this. This is what we call a landfill. Your trash can either be environmental friendly or unfriendly. What does this mean? Well, things like scraps and newspaper will degrade. If something is environmental friendly, that means that it is biodegradable. This means it will eventually become one with the soil. However, plastic is not biodegradable. This means it's unfriendly to the environment. I want you to keep a close eye to your landfill model that you just created. Over the next few days, you will notice how the fruit and scraps that you put in there will start to go away. However, the plastic will not. It will remain there. Much of the waste in our landfills is biodegradable. However, many of our current landfills do not permit naturally biodegradable things to decompose because they are deprived from light, oxygen, and often even moisture. So, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to also share your findings in the comments. Let me know how long did it take for your scraps to disappear. Thank you for watching.